Hi, Mike here to tell you all about the new REST API endpoint we're adding to Oracle Analytics Cloud that lets you create, update and delete connections to your data sources. So as you can see for the connections API, we have three endpoints. We can create a connection, delete a connection, or we can update a connection. So what I'm going to do is show you how the endpoints work in order to do each of those operations. So the first thing we will do is to create a connection. So if I click on this link, we get a bit more information. So you can see the connections uh, endpoint. And if I scroll down, then you'll see that we have some examples. And what I'm going to do is to create a connection to an autonomous data warehouse that make use of a wallet file. Now you can get the wallet file from your ADW Autonomous Data Warehouse console. So that's what we're going to be using in our Postman, which is where I will demonstrate how to create a connection. So for the endpoint, I've taken the endpoint as we saw in the documentation. And the authorization that we need to use is a bearer token. So if you're new to using bearer tokens, I suggest looking at the, the blog that I've written on how to obtain bearer tokens. There are many different ways of being able to obtain a bearer token. And this will give you uh, an overview of those and some sample code and scripts, which will allow you to, to get a bearer token to use with analytics. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to fill in details of our connection parameters. So if we go back to the documentation, you can see an example of those parameters that we need to fill in. And the information such as the connection string, you can also obtain from the ADW uh, connections uh, screen and also from the, the wallet file that you download. If you open it up, you'll find the, that connection information in there. Um, we also need the username and password of the user of the schema that we are connecting to. And then, as I mentioned before, the cwallet.sso. So I've created within, uh, within Postman a form data connection params. And then this is of type text. And then if I click on here, you can see the various connection parameters that I've copied into this field. And then for my cert key, I have changed that to type file. And then I've uh, found the cwallet.sso file. So we're now ready to, to create a connection. And now, so if I hit send, we send that request to OAC. And what we get back is a connection ID. So I'm just going to copy that connection ID because we will be using that in a moment. If I go back to Oracle Analytics and then refresh the page, which is where our, we can see our connections, and then go over to connections, you can see now that we have a connection that's been created, Oracle ADW with wallet. All right, so let's update this connection. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate updating the, the description. So if I go back to Postman, I have another tab where in this case, we're going to be doing a put on that connections. But what we need to do is add that ID for the connection that was just created. So within my body of the API, my connection parameters, now we have less connection parameters, but what I'm going to do is change the description to say that it's been updated using API. Okay, so if I hit send, we can see that status is 200, which is okay. And then if I go back to analytics again, and then refresh the page and check our connection, we can see that the description has been updated using API. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is to delete this connection. So I need to take that connection ID again, put it in my URI. I'm still using my token. And in this case, we have no body for the payload. So if I press the send button, again, we get a, uh, a good status back 
and if I go to the analytics screen and then do a refresh and go to connections, we'll see that that connection has now been deleted.